All right, we're back. Triple episode here today. Starting off on the road against Sassuolo. Definitely one of those matches where Milan needs to get three points. Very winnable. We want to achieve our goal of, of making it back to the Champions League. We, we need to win these. So as you see, 26 points separates us, but three through seven is pretty tight, separated by five points. A couple of teams have a game in hand, but take a look at old man, old AC frontman from 14, Luis Adriano, who we shipped out in the January window in a in a trade and signed for uh, Domenico Barardi, who unfortunately is out with a rib injury. As we take a look at Sassuolo coming out in a 4-3-3 with Adriano as the front man. Not too many recognizable names. Sigli and Bo, pretty solid. I think the last time we played them, um, we did win the uh, the previous fixture with them at home. So definitely, like I said before, this is one that we should be winning. But take a look at Milan starting. Starting 11, we went three in the back. With the youngster Alien Romagli, Cersei Bells on the little top. Han, Honda and Suso out on the wings. Holy and Bonaventura in the middle, so some, some good athletes there in the middle for us. Um, but we're in, into the seventh minute already. Um, Sassuolo played a pretty good possession game, as you see, they're working it around, but you know, no real danger. But they do get it into Adriano. We come out to meet him, he holds off with Nali. Oh, and slips in, and the youngster Ricardo Eli is caught sleeping. He's caught marking the outside man, and he should have stepped over and cut off the immediate danger. But just like that, Meganelli punishes us. We're down one nothing. Not the start that we had envisioned. We take another look. Great pass right there by number 32. We don't know his name. Beats the, they beat Diego Lopez. Right footed finish to the left hand corner or right hand corner of the goal. But we're back. Tenth. Respond right away. Churchy comes in. Ah, oh, just a reckless challenge right there. The referee points to the spot. Vasalico rightfully booked. Super Mario steps up to take the penalty. Usually been pretty good from the spot. He missed a couple in the preseason friendlies, but just a terrible penalty. It saved. We let him off the hook, but we went a corner a couple minutes later. Hakan, great on set pieces, sits down. The captain tonight. Zapata, great effort. His header was blocked, but he stays with it. Takes a deflection. Kisses the ground. Not sure why he gets the ground. We're not playing in the San Siro, but we take another look. Great delivery. Terrible marking by Sassuolo. And just an, an unfortunate bounce for them. Fortunate for us, but we level it back up. And a few minutes later, a lot of action early on in this one. Balotelli finds oh, Hakan, and he's just been unlucky and hasn't been able to find the back of the net despite getting some good chances, but we're into the second half. Holy with a good run. His shot is deflected, is, is saved wide, but if you take a look, he's hit on the follow-through. He gets up animated, agitated, and rightfully so, although pretty weak penalty. I mean, you got to give him some room to come down, but in the box, that's very rarely called, but we'll have him set up and have Balotelli go in there again to take the penalty and this time they're a little bit better and we take the 2-1 lead I think deservedly so I mean outside of that first opening opening minutes we've definitely been the better team but a few minutes later it's been a respond and react type of game oh Duncan slips in Adriano who just beats Zapata for pace and the ex Milan man who could not buy a goal for us Gets on board, and I want to say he breaks his stuff, and that's the first goal that he had all season. But 2 2, 82nd minute, Milan back on it. Mari, who's come on, slips in Bonaventura, finds Hakan. Hakan's shot uh, is deflected wide, goes to Mari. Mari to Churchy, his sh uh, couldn't get his shot off in time. But 86th minute, Sassuolo Politano crosses it. Adriano, who heads it back across the goal. And Palatano finishes at the near post to give Sassuolo the 3 2 lead after coming back from down 2 1. 2 against the run of play as we take a look. Uh, don't know if that was a pass by Adriano or he just fluffed it, but Diego Lopez with just a gas at the near post. And just like that, 
episode is off to a bad start as we drop what should have been a very winnable match. Should have been three points in the bag on the road to Sassuolo. Domenico Berardi, like mentioned, is out six weeks with a rib injury that he sustained in training. Um, so he's, you know, watching from the stands. Didn't get a chance to run out against his old teammates, but just, oh, just a terrible performance overall by us, especially defensively. They give up three goals on four shots on target. Balotelli played played pretty well, 8.0. Hakan was very, very one of his better games, even though he uh, didn't get on the score sheet. He was pretty active. Um, man of the match, consigli for them, but just like that, we're, we're back into it. On the road, again versus Kievo. We did get a pretty fortunate schedule in the beginning. We saw us see a lot of home matches at the San Siro, but Kievo, lovely stadium, um, lovely kids. So we see, lost didn't hurt us too much, although we did lose some ground to Roma, but they, they do, we do have a game at hand, but 16th place, Kievo. So the schedule, even though on the road, it's favorable because we're playing what should be beatable. Beatable sides on the road as we take a look at Mexico's back in the side, captaining us with the armband. And worst home record. They've got four points at home all season. Haven't won a match. Nine losses, four draws. So uh, uh, definitely a, another match that we should be taking three points um, if we wanna if we wanna continue and, and stay in that top four. Worst get in the Europa League spot, but. We'll take a look. They got Isco, not the Spanish Isco, captain in the side, coming out of a 4-4-2, very English of them. Christensen, Bersa, Gobi, Daniele, Bizarri in goal. Let's take a look at Alessio Serti. He's, he's almost been the first name on the on the team sheet now um, since we've uh, gotten rid of Menez. But Lopez in at goal. We'll go with four at the back this time with Abate and the Siglio. Poli, Dijon, Bertolacci, Han, Cherchi, and Backer comes in for Balotelli up front. Um... I do like four at the back, uh, just because we've got some pacey wingers, although Siglio on the left-hand side, he's not a natural left-footed, um, uh, he's not a natural left-back, uh, he's kind of like a Cesar SP the flip of the Chelsea, where good defensively, but crosses is definitely not going to get him, but Abate, he's in there because he's got pace and he can do this, slips in, Baca, who does a good job of holding up the play, slips in Bertolacci, Cuts in on his stronger foot, beats a defender, and just curls it into the top right-hand corner to give Milan the early 1-0 lead. And just great play by Bacco, just shows the patience right there. Cuts it in as he uses the Tsukiebo's de defender's momentum against him. And just like that, it's 1-0. And taking just a great side for finish from one of my favorite players so far, this Grimo Bertolacci. They, they brought him in this year. I can't remember where. I want to say Genoa. But um, Bacco's in on goal. Oh, great job of, of control right there. Goes with the left-footed side finish. You see Poli with with the ill-advised slide tackle kind of trying to break up the play. But uh, just like that, they're back on the counterattack. They play in. Gobi plays it to Peloshi. Peloshi steps up. And, oh, uh, they slip in Meggioni. You take a look. I thought it was off sides, but if you go back and look at the replay in slow mo, you'll see Abate on the bottom half of the screen, kind of holding him on side. It was a little tough. I would have liked to see a, maybe a better angle from uh, maybe the the high camera angle looking down, but they slip it in. Lopez does as good as he can. I mean, he tries to make himself big, but he guesses the wrong way. And good finish by Kievo. One nothing. Don't really say that they deserved it. There wasn't too many chances in this game, but. Um, just, just another, another squandered lead, and that defensive record that we had in the beginning is a little going by the wayside. But Bertolacci's in on goal, right foot. Uh, he probably should have been going across the keeper, but good save right there by the Kievo keeper. He, he stands tall, protects his near post, and, and just like that, we're into the 87th minute. You see, they're dominating all corners. We get one. Finally, it's headed down by Abate. Bonaventura tries to pick it up off the half volley and just sends it over. And one last chance for Milan, and the attack gets broken up. But we're on, and stoppage time. Abate taken down recklessly. What, the, what is the ref going to do? Shows Pelosi the red card. Probably a little bit too late, as we're already a good minute into stoppage time. But maybe at ref will be lenient, add on a couple more minutes. But last chance for Milan. Bacchus slipped in by Balotelli, gets some space in the box, and his left-footed finish 
going for the near post is saved by the keeper. Good job of the keeper getting his hand on it. Strong hands, punches it out of bounds. We win a corner off it, probably definitely like I said, the last chance, but Becca's header is, is deflected wide. We get one more corner, one more chance. Surely we've got to send it in. Ah, oh, and Timo gets a good run up to it. Good power. The placement is just lacking as he puts it to the right side. And just like that, two winnable matches, and we only get one point out of it. Disappointing, especially considering that we've got Lazio coming up next to currently sitting high either first or in second place you see they have one shot on target one goal we gave them the opportunity we gave them the chance and they just they converted but third match we're in we're at home in the rain against Lazio who beat us the first fixture they're sitting in second place right now a point behind Juventus who lose to kind of running away with the lead but, you know it'll be a tight battle from here on out they're in their away kits, all black, with the Carolina blue accents. Player to watch, Philippe Jotovic, two goals in his previous match. They've been pretty good defensively, which is the reason why they've uh, they've been able to, to rise to the top of the table. But hopefully we'll be able to hold them to be, as we roll out a very attacking lineup. Um, just, we, we went with, we've been struggling for goals a little bit lately, and we went with just pace. A little bit of an unfamiliarity as we take a look at Lazio's lineup. Um, Djokovic up top for, for Miroslav. Keita, Kondreva, Lulic, Corolla, Biglia. So they got some, some pretty good names in there. I mean, if you're going to sit second behind Juventus in this league, you're going to have to have some good players. So we take a look at Miroslav, who's probably going to be retiring at the end of this season. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see if he gets some action, but... They, they slipped them in early. We were just all over the place. We, tactically, we just, we, I, I flubbed it. We just we came out, we were in a free form, um, un, unorganized role with just players swapping positions, and we just we got caught out a lot in this first half. We just we played all over the place. Uh, probably not the ideal match to be trying things out, but Kendreva beats him, he slips in Lulich who puts us behind at home, silences the crowd, and just, this episode just keeps getting worse and worse. We definitely mark this one on the calendar. If it's after losing uh, or losing out on some points with these last two matches, you know, this is a match that we definitely wanted to at least get a point out of, definitely win it, but we finally get a chance. I think we only had maybe one good opportunity all first half slip in Balotelli he gets in on goal and just drags his shot slowly across the keeper out of play but 44th minute Dijon with the high press and just a dirty dirty slide tackle right there on the keep on the captain only showing a yellow I really thought he should have been Corolla should have been sent off uh, if you take a look back at that replay I mean he made no attempt the ball it was clearly a hack but we're into the second half. We changed up the, the the formation a little bit. Hakan slips in Bonaventura, and his shot uh, probably should have been going with the left foot there, just trying to curl it to the post. But he goes for power. It doesn't work. But we're back. 40, my 54th minute. Honda cuts in on his foot, inside foot. Uh, his pass for Bertolotti is just a little bit behind him, and Dijon steps up and does really well nearly slips it in if you take a look at the replay not the best of angles on the replay but it uh it was very close to being uh, the equalizer from the zone from distance but 68th minute honda already on a yellow a little bit of frustration right there as things just weren't going our way i felt like we weren't getting the benefits calls uh the referee's benefit of the doubt, and he has shown two yellows and sent off. He's actually playing pretty well. He's been playing pretty well for us since we tried to ship him out in the January window, but he's sent off, and it makes a difficult task even more difficult as we're down a man at home to a good side. Abate slips in the youngster Niang who came on, and he tries to sneak it into the near post. Disappointed, maybe a little audacious, but not a bad effort. He definitely had a beat, just the placement was a little wide and 
just like that, we're, we're into the stoppage time. Lazio catches us as we push forward. I think we're an alter attacking right there, and, and we just nearly got caught out for the second one, but just didn't have enough offensively to break down a very well-organized Lazio side. And three matches this episode, one point. It's just not good enough. It's not going to get it done. It's, it's, it's going to put us right back uh, down into that that five, six, seven range. And, you know, we take a look. Diego Lopez kind of saved us and kept us in that one for a little bit, especially in that first half when it was when things weren't going our way. But we'll try to rebound to the next one and, and try to pull out some points. So, thanks, guys. Guys. Guys.